This is a deep learning video on self-supervised GANs from Henry AI Labs. The idea of self-supervised GANs is to stabilize generative adversarial network training by adding this auxiliary task where the discriminator has to predict the rotation of the image as well as uh, realific. So the high-level idea is that uh, as you train GANs, in addition to things like uh, mode collapse and you know training instability, spike and gradients, you have to deal with the problem that's found in all sorts of deep learning tasks, which is catastrophic forgetting. And this is along the line of, you know, the generator distribution is changing during training, and therefore the discriminator's decision boundary is fluctuating in this odd way. So the idea is that you add this auxiliary task such that it stabilizes the representation from the discriminator. And this picture illustrates this idea of catastrophic forgetting. So what this plot shows is if you train a model to uh, classify, like, one versus all classification. Let's say you have 10 classes. First you say class 1 versus all the other classes, class 2, class 3, and so on, versus all the other classes at each step. So this shows how uh, without the self-supervision self task on the left, every time you switch it, it totally forgets how the representations and it, you know, the performance drops all the way down. But with the self-supervision, there isn't as much of a downward spike when you switch the tasks. So this shows again that um, with uh, GANs, one of the big problems is once the generator is successfully fooling the discriminator, there's no reason for the discriminator to have useful representations at all. But with this self-supervised uh, additional task, the discriminator like still has something to do. So this top plot right here just shows how the self-supervised GAN model proposed here is able to align itself up with the conditional GAN, which is really impressive because the conditional GAN requires labeled data sets, whereas the uh, self-supervised GAN is completely unsupervised. And then this shows uh, another plot, similar idea, uh, comparing it with the conditional and unconditional idea, but on two different data sets, CIFAR 10 and ImageNet. You see how the unconditional GAN is like completely incapable of even achieving the ImageNet uh, generation. And then this is another interesting detail of the paper. They show how sensitive their uh, model is to hyperparameter tuning and things like the gradient penalty and the Wasserstein loss and then spectrum normalization. So then again, another a big application idea for generative adversarial networks, if you can use them in the unsupervised sense, is that you can uh, produce some kind of features. You know, deep learning is really representation learning, where you map data into, you know, vector or like continuous space representations that can be used for linear classifiers. So this shows how the self-supervised GAN is able to outperform the unconditional and, you know, almost perform as well as the uh, conditional GAN. So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out henryailabs.com for deep learning papers explained.